Hi everyone, and welcome to another video from Altrady. And this time we're going to talk about the release 3.12. There's some really nice features added to the new version, and I just wanted to go quickly over the new features we Alright, so the first noticeable difference is in the My Positions widget. Uh, we've now added the uh, distinction between what type of position it is. And we also added the ability to uh, filter on that. So basically, if you're only interested in signal bots, then you filter signal bot. And if you want to see your spot positions, then you click on the spot position. So that's a neat way to quickly uh, filter out the positions that you don't really care about, like the grid positions or spot positions or futures positions. Um, so that helps to keep your mind clean a bit. The other feature that we've added is the ability to share your positions. So if you click on a position, then you can hit the share button and it will generate a nice image for you. And you can see here that it was a 3.2% profit and it will automatically give you a nice description uh, for your position. And then you can share it on your social media or just copy the link uh, and you can paste it in something like Telegram, Discord, Facebook or wherever you want to share your results with. And as always, uh, they act as a referral link. So if you share these links, then uh, you might earn up uh, to 10 euros per uh, purchase of anyone that you refer. And you can enjoy free time using all trading. You also have the option to hide the amount. So if you just want to share uh, the percentage, then you just click on that and then the image will be updated and it will only show the percentage. And then you also have the ability to share it on all trading public pages. So right now we don't have a public page where uh, it will be displayed, but that will be added in the next few weeks. Uh, so you can actually see shares from other users and see how your performance is compared to the others. The other major improvement is in the portfolio. Now, as you can see, portfolio has had a complete revamp. Everything looks different. But well, we think it's a nice step forward and uh, it removes some uh, weird percentage differences uh, that, that we had in the past where you had like a thousand or a million percent increase. Uh, but that was just based on the amount of coins being added to the portfolio and then the difference. So um, we thought hard along about it and actually I think we came up with a very decent way to display this to you. So we will show you by default the percentage difference per day, per 30 days, and per year, which makes them much nicer and much more useful. And we also added the quick uh, report periods, but still, if you want to do custom, then you can still do custom, and you can change the time uh, from and to if you want. Now, this chart has not been changed that much. Uh, we've made sure that the uh, two lines are actually not linked to each other so that you actually see more of a difference between the two charts. So it makes sure that it's more uh, properly balanced and you can actually see the differences uh, in changes. Then the stack chart is still there and not much has changed there either. That still works as it used to. Then if we go below, you can see your asset list here. Now we've made some changes here. It, this also contained some of the weird percentages. So now we just show the total coins in orders available, uh, what the value is in BTC and what the value is in USD. And now we also added the seven day price change. So this is the price of the underlying value of Bitcoin. So that means that right now the price is 23,000. Um, but uh, seven days ago, the price of Bitcoin was actually 16% less. And in order to see that properly on a graph, you have the 30 day price change. So you can see uh, if uh, an asset has increased a lot in value or not. And it's red if the beginning to the end is uh, negative and it will be green if the beginning to the end is positive. And it will also show if it's positive based on seven days ago. Uh, so you can see the difference if a trend is reversing or not for this specific set. Then we have the asset distribution, which is uh, cleaned up a bit. Uh, you still have your pie chart. Uh, you don't need to click on it anymore. Uh, it's just straight straight in there. And you also have the 
uh, listed version so you can see your assets there. Now we've also added extra functions to the account list. So for example, you could do a folder. And if you have, for example, multiple Qcoin accounts, then you create a folder for Qcoin. And then we can move this to folder Qcoin. Now, and if you have multiple accounts, then you will see that it will be grouped based on your accounts. Uh, and you can easily select it to see how your assets on all your Qcoin accounts are doing. So this is much easier to manage multiple accounts or sub accounts and still see the total value of your asset. We also added the option to add wallets. And by wallets, we actually do mean your ledger or your Exodus or my Etherscan or whatever wallet you hold uh, for the change that we currently support. So if you want to add your wallet, you can say, for example, I have an Exodus account. So we do Exodus and uh, we don't select a folder. So you can see my Exodus wallet is there. And then I can add a wallet address. And the wallet address depends a little bit on which chain it is. But for Ethereum, we use the ERC20 address. Then we select the wallet Exodus and we select the chain Ethereum. And then we copy and paste the wallet address. Now, if we click Save, then you can see that there are now two assets loaded. And if we just select the wallet, then we can see that there are two assets. So by adding one address, it will also fetch all the ERC20 tokens attached to that same address. And again, you can see your holdings. You can see your holdings over time. So every day this will start to uh, be checked automatically. So if you make any changes to your wallet, then every day this will be updated. And if the asset is traded on any of the exchanges, you will see the price difference as well. So this is a great way and a great addition to the portfolio where you can actually manage all your assets across all your wallets and exchanges in a more easy way. So you don't need to log into different uh, accounts to see all your accounts and balances. Uh, but you have it all on the one roof. And of course, this is also added to the mobile version. So that's pretty much it for the major features for the 3.12 version. There are lots of little things also changed uh, that you can re read back in the release notes. We think it's a great addition to the platform and we hope that you like the new features as well. And later this week, we will also send invites to users for the mobile app. Uh, we have completely redesigned our mobile app uh, for uh, Android and iOS, which includes basically everything that you need uh, for the mobile app on the road, uh, including trading, alerts, position management, bots, signal bots, uh, your portfolios, trading analytics, everything will be included and is now much more suited for the mobile devices. It even includes the trading view chart so that you can see here. Um, so all your order handles and everything will be on the chart, but I will do a separate video for the new app when it's out. So please let us know what you think of the new version. It's got a lot of features, a lot of new things uh, that we're pretty excited about, and we hope that you're excited about it as well. And then we're going to work hard on version 4 of the app, which will contain another few major updates.